In this video, we'll create and deploy Golang and Rust gRPC servers to the Kubernetes side by side. For the first test, we'll expose Rust and Golang within the VPC by using Nginx ingress controller and private network load balancer. In this scenario, when the client sends a request to the backend, TLS is terminated on the ingress level, and then a new connection is created also using HTTP2 protocol but using a different implementation H2C HTTP2 over TCP. For the second test, when the client sends a request, TLS is terminated on the backend level. In this scenario, it will increase the CPU usage of the pods since they also need to decrypt each request before sending the response. By using Prometheus, we collect metrics from the ingress such as latency and traffic and visualize them using Grafana. To collect CPU, memory and network usage, we'll deploy CA Advisor to Kubernetes. You can monitor CPU as a percentage of the limit given to the container or as CPU cores with requests and limits. Also, it's very important to monitor CPU throttling for applications deployed in Kubernetes. You can also monitor memory usage as a percentage or in actual usage with requests and limits pulled from the pod spec. When you use ingress controller, always monitor the CPU usage of the controllers since a high load can impact your application performance by significantly increasing the latency of each request. You can find up-to-date code in my GitHub repository. For example, it may seem like like anti-pattern for Kubernetes, but for stability, you can create a separate node group with taints for ingress pods if you have a lot of traffic coming to the cluster. To create a gRPC server for Golang, first we need to define the proto message. In this case, I have device, device request and manager service. Then return a single hard-coded device. To compile proto to Golang, you use proto-c command and provide a path to the files. To terminate TLS within the VPC and use only a private load balancer. We need to generate a certificate authority and a couple of certificates. You can find the config and the commands in the readme file. Now, based on TLS enabled environment variable, we either let ingress terminate TLS and send a clear text to the goal link, or if it is set to true, we load the certificate and private key and create a new server with credentials. For the Rust, it is a similar process, but you don't have to compile proto messages yourself in Instead, you create a build script. To build a gRPC server in Rust, we use a tonic framework. If the same TLS enabled variable is set to false, we start a regular server. If it is set to true, we load certificate and the key and add TLS config to the gRPC server. If you're building a Docker image from Mac M1, you also need to add cargo config due to the bug. Let's go ahead and run the first test. By the way, you can find Ansible playbook to install K6 load generating tool and copy tests to the target. You can use K6 not only to test HTTP APIs, but gRPC as well. In the first test, we start by slowly scaling virtual users from 1 to 50, then increase it immediately to 100 and keep running for another 5 minutes, then scale it to 200 users for another 5 minutes. On the first first graph, latency stays pretty much the same between Rust and Go. Traffic also shows that both applications are capable of processing all the requests. Now, when it comes to CPU, you can see a huge difference in usage. Golang uses more than twice the CPU as Rust. If you switch to detailed CPU monitoring, you can also notice that Golang CPU was throttled when we increased users to 100 and by the end of the test. Memory usage is flat, but Golang usage is slightly higher. And finally, as I mentioned, you have to monitor ingress pods as well to avoid any issues. Let's run the second test. Since the CPU and memory limits stay the same, we need to reduce the number of clients in the test. You can notice that TLS termination takes a lot of CPU and be very careful when you want to enable mutual TLS in your clusters. The results of the tests are very similar just with reduced load. If you like this video, I have other interesting benchmarks that you can find in the playlist including Golang vs Java, Golang vs Node and other open source projects such as Nginx vs Traffic and Apache Server. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.